As bad as this is probably going to sound, I kind of didn't care. I'm just going to be honest. I really just didn't care because either way, you guys aren't together now. Okay. So it doesn't matter. What is up you guys? Welcome back to the channel. It's your girl JD here back with another video. So we are going to be talking about Love is Blind season four. This is their after the altar special. Like we have seen with the previous Love is Blind seasons, they always have a reunion. Then a year later, they would have after the altar. And then about two years later, they would have like another get together. But to be honest, I would like to see an update on like what season one's couples are doing. Like if they're still going strong and all that good stuff but we are going to be diving into the after the altar obviously like i said it's now been a year and all the drama is being rehashed yet again so the married couples of course that are all still together brett and tiffany Kwame and Chelsea and Zach and Bliss. So in the beginning, in kind of like the very first episode, they actually have all three of them come together for like a dinner and they basically talk about how married life has been and how everything's been going for them. And Brat and Tiffany, they look really happy. They look super happy actually. Both of them seem to be thriving in their careers and their personal life. And you could really see it from the outside. And they appear to actually be friends with each other. It's not just a matter of, ooh, I like you. This is a romantic relationship. It also seems like a friendly bond that they have with each other. Like they could be themselves around each other. And I really like that. And I actually follow them both over on Instagram so I've been seeing them actually show up at a lot of events recently and I could pretty much say the same thing in terms of everything relationship wise with Zach and Bliss as well they're kind of awkward awkward people individually when it comes to their personalities but like I said it's kind of the same as Brett and Tiffany they seem really happy they're doing quite a bit of traveling I see because every other day it looks as though they're in another country which I'm trying to figure out how they're doing that when Zach is a lawyer or maybe he doesn't really have to work as much now I have no idea but they've been doing a hell of of a lot of traveling now there hasn't really been any talks of kids at the moment but they do want them eventually but just not now they're still very focused on their fur babies at the moment so yeah I haven't heard anything either from Brett and Tiffany about that so we'll see you know because Tiffany is getting up there in age okay it is what it is all right don't come for me but she is kind of up there I think she was like 35 36 so you know the countdown is on but that's only if that's something that they want okay now Kwame and Chelsea okay I gotta be honest with y'all I'm still not really convinced I really am not even when Kwame had said yes at the altar I just I didn't believe it I really didn't believe it it did not seem believable and Kwame he just really seems unsure just leading into the wedding everything just seemed really all over the place with Kwame now obviously in the reunion he kept saying you know there's a lot that you didn't see behind the scenes and it's like yes even though there was more than likely a lot of footage that we didn't see when it came to the footage that we did see it just really did not seem believable it did not convince me it was just kind of like mmm I really don't know about this one and I still don't even a year later it just looks very shaky to me there's still a struggle when it comes to Kwame's mom so I don't know how that's been working obviously his mom did not come to the wedding only his sister and brother came and that's who Chelsea's been forming a bond with this last uh, year so I'm happy that she's still been able to connect to his family in some way but just not his mom just yet but it seems as though Chelsea is really trying her best to reach out as much as possible and she I think had said at one point she wrote a letter to his mom to kind of connect with her but I haven't really heard anything else besides that so I think they're trying to keep a lot of the other things under wraps at least for right now but yeah it looks as though it is being worked on Chelsea also brought up the fact that Kwame was kind of sacrificing not traveling as much 
and obviously she does this while crying about it right but i think that before they had met kwame probably had a job where he did travel a lot because chelsea doesn't really have the flexibility to go with him all the time i guess he kind of made the sacrifice to either lessen his traveling or change jobs i can't remember what was said but it was just kind of like girl i think you're being a little too emotional right now i get it yes he's making a sacrifice okay but it was like chelsea i feel like you'd be crying for everything though <laughs> like it's really not that deep but that's pretty much all i have to say on the married couples now in terms of the other couples and their interactions as we know there were two other couples that didn't make it to marriage and also one in particular that didn't even make it to the altar okay we'll talk about that but let's talk about paul and micah first so paul and micah which you could clearly see was not going to make it when you watch the show's episodes everything was just really surface level and i don't really think that was to blame on just one person i think both of them were really being very surface level but but I think Paul, at least his reasoning for being probably very surface level was trying to not get too attached to Micah and not really show too much of himself. But he is a very analytical person, very much so in his head, very focused on everything else besides actually developing an actual connection with the person he's with, who in this case was Micah at the time. At the reunion, he said he didn't see Micah as a mom. So that's why he ultimately said no to her at the altar amongst other things of course but that was one of the most important things that he brought up but paul had started actually seeing someone else but for some strange reason he was still trying to reach out to micah talk to her get closure i guess but it was like why are you still entertaining anything to do with micah like just move on like i just really hope that they reach a place where both of them could just move on just a clean break from each other because clearly this was going nowhere now moving on to marshall and jackie we already know marshall and jackie were the couple that caused the most drama during the show and after the show they were the one couple that got engaged that didn't actually make it to the altar and Jackie, of course, had said on numerous occasions during and after the show that she doesn't regret how she handled Marshall. Okay, quote unquote, that's what she said. But let's be real, she did look like a complete a-hole. And I think she knows that watching herself back on the show, if she did. Now, she knew that she was being portrayed as a villain, but I don't think she did much to help her case either to prove otherwise. Now, after breaking things off with Marshall, she refused to give him back the ring. She runs off with Josh, the other guy that she was talking to in the pods. And Jackie also accused Marshall of wanting the ring back just so he could propose to someone else on the show now marshall does admit at the reunion that he went on a date with another woman from the show but things fizzled out and didn't really go anywhere on the after the altar episodes they bring this woman back that just so happens to be a friend that jackie had made while on the show pretty interesting now she explains to jackie that it wasn't just one date and marshall made it seem as though she didn't mean much to him and marshall during the reunion did stress that they had went on like one singular date just to make it seem as insignificant as possible but i do believe her okay i do believe they probably went on several dates however as bad as this is probably gonna sound i kind of didn't care i'm just gonna be honest i really just didn't care because either way you guys aren't together now okay it, so it doesn't matter and marshall's already moved on he's in a whole other relationship with another woman by the name of shay barnes hopefully i'm saying that right she actually seems to like him for who he is it just seemed like jackie was trying to make marshall be something that he wasn't you know like be this rough and tumble guy but he wasn't that so it's just kind of like okay clearly this isn't gonna work out if you're trying to change him so it seems as though shay actually likes him for who he is and i love that for him i just personally feel like because of all of that that everybody in this situation everybody involved to just move on because who honestly cares at this point when it came to the first meetup the very first meetup with just the couples they did their best to put together a flag football game for everyone to come to not everybody from the show or from the specific season but everybody that had coupled up in the show everybody shows up and i gotta be honest it is a little awkward but the game does help to break the ice a little bit but micah has a conversation with chelsea 
to be honest about nothing and it really felt super fake to me when she said she was proud of chelsea or super proud of her or something like that it was just kind of like girl please stop like <laughs> it just seems so fake to me and then bliss she casually speaks to irena after the whole her and zach thing which was kind of a dumb thing to even have beef over now that i look back on it it just seemed really kind of petty obviously in this season i feel like they were trying to at least during the reunion i feel like they were really reaching when it came to some of the beef i was just kind of like okay who cares though Irina didn't find zach attractive okay she texted you and told you she didn't find him attractive okay you know it's just okay right so moving on to the second get together that's when the real drama picked up this was when i think everybody had gone out for drinks they met up at like this bar or some type of bar location they extended it to the entire cast and not just the couples so everybody like literally everybody was there and irena she tried to pull amber aside at one point to apologize for laughing about the whole paul breaking things off thing with her in the pods and you know her emotional reaction to it and in love is blind amber did get a little emotional about the whole thing and you can see irena trying to eavesdrop on the conversation that she was having with i think chelsea but irena kind of runs away laughing and micah kind of does the same thing when it came to the situation but amber sees through the apology because irena let's be honest was just trying to pretend as though she actually cared how amber was feeling in that moment and she tried to say that she didn't realize that amber was crying but it was like girl you could literally see that you looked right at her in that episode you looked right at her crying and you could tell from her voice that she was also getting emotional so let's cut the bs she calls bs on the whole thing which i was like thank you god because i was thinking the same thing i am honestly just so tired of all the fakeness that goes on in this show when everyone's reunited it just it's like come on man y'all know y'all don't like each other like just let it be you know stop trying to be friends okay let's move on now jackie and marshall decide to have a chat by their lonesome and they both apologize to each other but i gotta be real i find it really interesting that jackie seems so unapologetic about everything leading up to this conversation and also you know she was making fun of marshall for trying to reach out to talk to her even though i've yet to hear from anybody including her what he actually did wrong besides the name calling thing which i mean both of them were name calling each other and i guess things just got you know out of hand but besides that what did he do i'm really trying to figure out like what did he do to you so that has yet to be cleared up but i doubt it ever will be she depicts marshall as kind of being this annoying loser of an ex and i really didn't like that jackie honestly just seems very fake to me so she deserved the backlash that came her way after that season ended in my opinion but one other thing that was a surprise to me was finding out that Josh had actually proposed to someone while in the pods as well. I'm guessing this was shortly after Jackie broke things off with him to pursue things with Marshall. But he was actually engaged to Monica Rodriguez, we find out. And the editors, I guess, just decided not to follow their story, so... I had no idea. I'm sure you guys probably similar. You had no idea. We find out Monica, she came out in an Instagram post saying that she was engaged, but she never actually said to who. So obviously this got rehashed when they decided to actually talk at the event. So Josh, Monica, and Jackie had a chat about her post, basically saying that she was coming across as messy. Now, me personally, after having read the post myself several times, I still couldn't understand what the hell Josh was even talking about. I'm just going to be real. I really think what the issue is here is that Josh might be feeling a little guilty when it comes to this relationship. I'm not entirely sure what it would be for when it comes to the guilt, but it feels like it's something that Josh might need to figure out because I don't think Monica did anything wrong. She has a right to share her story and experience while being on this show. So I don't really understand what Josh's issue was. Now, the conversation did get pretty heated and mainly because of Josh. He kept calling Monica cloud chaser that she was cloud chasing with the whole situation but to be honest it was like please explain how like my men sit down 
have a conversation okay without name calling and calling people cloud chaser be very specific with the feelings as to why you think she's a cloud chaser eventually jackie does walk away from the conversation talking about not wanting all the drama but it was like didn't she seem to have no issues with it the previous year you know i guess people change sort of but at the same time i was like girl you had no problem being the villain <laughs> for a good long while but now you don't want no drama okay sis josh comes behind her and they both leave the event and no one really misses them to be honest the party seems to be much more lively without them because i really thought they brought the drama in my opinion so ultimately i just think it's really unfair to expect monica to go on to the show get engaged and then not say anything about it like that would have been weird okay not sharing any of her experience any of her story would have been strange she decided to leave your name josh okay she decided to leave josh's name out of the situation so i'm still trying to figure out how she was being messy how was she cloud chasing he didn't actually film the story she got engaged on the show so i feel like it's only fair to talk about it you know but that's pretty much all i have to say on the after the altar episodes for season four y'all let me know what your thoughts were on everything i thought it was really funny i found this tiktok it was when all the craziness was going down between monica and josh when they had that heated conversation and you could clearly see that marshall was trying to stay out of it he was really trying his best to mind his business it was so funny y'all where did jackie go she's outside oh okay There's Monica is like, I'm healing from this process. And I'm like, y'all, look at Marshall. I have never. <laughs> I personally think that Marshall feels a little vindicated in knowing that he doesn't have to deal with any of this drama anymore. <laughs> like none of that has anything to do with him and he is ecstatic about it. <laughs> Honestly, I wish him and Shay the best really. But y'all let me know your thoughts down in the comments on all of this down below and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace. Mm -hmm.